So the great wildebeest migration in northern Tanzania is truly one of the most spectacular natural phenomena to witness in East Africa. Every year, over one million wildebeest, accompanied by several hundred thousands of zebras, antelopes, and of course predators that will follow along that migration path. The entire distance that this migration uh, takes every year is over a thousand kilometers per year. My name is Simon Kubler, I'm a geologist. Aldonio Lengai is a very interesting and unique volcano that is located in northern Tanzania from a tectonic, volcanic and ecological point of view. This uh, volcano is, yeah, is very interesting. Well, it's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's super strange. Aldonio Lengai is the only active carbonatite volcano in the world. Carbonatite is a kind of melt that is very rich in carbonates. So it has a lot of um, calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium um, stored in the melt. And the lava is not only chemically fascinating, it also has, it has fascinating um, physiological properties. It has the coolest lava in the world. The carbonatitic lava melts at only 500 degrees, which is less than half the temperature of uh, which other lava would normally melt. This forms a, yeah, a very special and very unique volcano that is, yeah, there's only one of those volcanoes in the world. I'm mostly interested in, in Ordonio Lenga from the point of view of how the volcanic ash after these um, explosive eruptions influence the soils in the immediate vicinity or the wider vicinity of the, of the volcano. So we, we went to uh, northern Tanzania to analyze the interplay between volcanic activity of Odonio Lengai in connection with large-scale animal migrations. Uh, the longest time they would spend actually in the Serengeti Plains um, where they also give birth to uh, uh, to their to their young, so there are thousands, hundreds of thousands of uh, young wildebeest being born each year. This observation um, kind of triggers the thought that some of the regions in the Serengeti are better suited for a large number of wildebeest to stay for a long time than others. We've considered several factors that might influence the, this large-scale annual migration from a geological point of view. And Oldonio Lengai stands out as one of the central uh, geological features that controls this ecosystem dynamic. The volcanic ash has a very important meaning for the quality or the fertility of the soils in the Serengeti Plains. So what happens is that these very small ash particles are being deposited on the surface of, um, of the Serengeti Plains and they will slowly get integrated in the soil. So that means that after some time vegetation will start growing on these very young surfaces and will incorporate the minerals that, are, um, that uh, th this volcanic ash contains. It kind of just uh, uh, serves as a kind of nutrient engine of the, uh, of the wildebeest migration. The composition of the Oldonio Langai volcanic ash is of particular importance for the nutrition of wildebeest because it has a lot, high amount of calcium. Also, the amount of plant available or water soluble phosphate is very low in many soils of the East African Rift. But the soils that develop on ashes of Odonio Lengai have both high amounts of calcium and high amounts of uh, plant available phosphate. So these two minerals are very important for a balanced nutrition of newborn wildebeest that need a lot of calcium and phosphate to develop strong bones or a strong skeleton. So it's kind of a wildebeest baby food that is uh, provided uh, in, in that region. And most of the time, wildebeest would suffer from a slight degree of undernutrition, and only when, when wildebeest would enter the Serengeti Plains, those nutrient levels would be high enough that the no undernutrition would basically be detected. If activity of Odenio were to stop immediately, 
it would probably have a drastic impact on the soils of the Serengeti Plains. So what would probably happen over time is that the soil quality would gradually go down in the Serengeti Plains. Yeah, it would probably have a large impact on that, on that wildebeest migration. Understanding the geological setting of an ecosystem might be extremely important to also understand the long-term stability of this ecosystem. So basically, if you think about shifting an ecosystem from, from, the, from the area where it's located right now to slightly to the north, or slightly to the south, you wouldn't only change the climatic, uh, the, the climatic system or, or the maybe biological features, but you would also change the location of the ecosystem with respect to the underlying geology. And this might have drastic um, influences on the long-term stability of these patterns. Normally, volcanoes are known for their, uh, yeah, for their destructive force once an eruption starts. But one thing that particularly fascinates me is that these geological features have an extremely important beneficial meaning for ecosystems, for animal landscape interactions, and nonetheless also for human landscape interactions. So it's not only the destructive force of these geological processes that are uh, fascinating to study, but it's especially the uh, two sides of these uh, of these processes that can either be destructive or beneficial. <laughs>